frequency distribution. We'll take a look at the outline for this lecture. We'll start with the definition of a frequency distribution, the types of frequency distributions, the measures of averages, and then we finally test our understanding. Let's move into the definition. A frequency distribution is a visual display of the frequency of a variable. So a variable is any feature, number, or quantity that can be measured or counted. A variable may also be called a data item. So we can talk about age, gender, restaurant orders, time, income, expenditure, etc., etc. Let's look at the types of variables that are used in frequency distribution. We have discrete and continuous. Now with the discrete, it consists of values that are of a specific nature being observed. So let's say an example in the table below, a restaurant is trying to record the number of orders it's received per day for a particular month. So the table is displaying that of the month, it has six days that each received 10 orders. The next one, eight days. Each of the eight days received 15 orders. The next one is 10 days, each of them receiving 20 orders, then 15 to 25 orders. For the continuous variable, it consists of values that have been grouped or categorized. So if you're looking at the number of times a customer spends in the restaurant, so the number of times that customers spend less than hour is six within a month. The number of times a customer spends between one and under two hours is eight times. The number of times the customer spend from two hours to under five hours is 10. The number of times a customer spends between five hours and under 10 hours is 15. Let's move on to discuss measures of average. Now for a frequency distribution to be meaningful, there are certain tools or calculations that we have to employ. The first is arithmetic mean, the second is median, and the third is the mood. For arithmetic mean, is what we normally call the average in normal terms. Now this serves as a yardstick of measurement and determines the spread. So what the arithmetic mean does is that it is able to pick the total frequency and share it equally among the responses that it had. So if you have five people, one person having a value of one, the other having a value of three, the other having a value of six, the other having a value of four, the other having a value of six, making 20 frequencies 20 divided by 5 will be 4 so the arithmetic mean is saying that each respondent or each value will have a frequency of 4 now when you're able to find the arithmetic mean it enables you to perform further calculations for example if you find out that the arithmetic mean for the earnings of employees of a particular business is ten thousand dollars if you want to calculate five percent increase in their salary you just find the five percent of the ten thousand which will become $500. So the $500 multiplied by the total number of employees will tell you the total amount of increase the business is expected to have. Now, if you calculate 5% on the individual earnings, the increase will lead to the 500 that we found by just taking the 5% of the average. So it simplifies everything. The mean is simply the sum of the observations divided by the number of observations. Let's look at the formula for arithmetic mean. So for discrete, it will be the sigma fx divided by sigma, where sigma fx is the sum of all the observations. So you pick each observation or value, then you multiply by its frequency. Then you divide by the sum of its frequency, meaning the sigma f. For continuous variables, we will first establish a midpoint we will find the total of the midpoint, which is the midpoint multiplied by the frequency, which is the sigma fx. Then we will divide by the frequency. We move on to the median. This is the central point of all the observations. So if you take the values and you spread them out, the middle number is the median. For you to get the median, you first must rank the observations in ascending order. Some data might be given to you scrambled, so you have to rearrange them smallest to the highest or highest to the smallest if the number of observations are even let's say 10 you will find two observations being in the middle when that happens you have to add those two numbers and divide by two 
that will give you the meaning. The last is the mood. Mood is the observation or the value with the most frequency. Let's test our understanding. So a restaurant has recorded the number of orders received per hour over the past day and has produced a table below. The number of hours that had only one order coming in was seven. The number of orders that came in twice were six. The number of orders that came in thrice were three. The number of orders that came in four times in an hour is four. The number of orders that came in five times in an hour is three. So we are now supposed to calculate the arithmetic mean, the median, and the mode. For solution, we'll start with arithmetic mean. The formula is the sum of the observations divided by the sum of the frequency. So when we bring up the table, we'll let x represent the values or the observations. f represent the frequency. fx represent the total frequency or the sum of the observations. So for the number of hours that had one order each was 7. So the total frequency will be 7. That is 1 times 7. The number of hours that had two others coming in were 6. Total frequency will therefore be 12. 2 times 6. The number of hours that had three others coming in were 3. Total frequency will be 9. The number of hours that had four others coming in each were 4. Total frequency will now be 16. The number of hours that had five others coming in were 3. Total frequency will now be 15. So the sum of the frequencies will be 23. The sum of the total frequency will be 59. Therefore, if you work the arithmetic mean, we'll get 2.57, which is the sum of the total frequency 59 divided by the sum of the frequency 23. When we come to the median, which is the central point of the observations, if you spread out the observation, you realize that one order came in seven times. So you write the one seven times, two, you write it out six times, three being three times, four being four times, five being three times. So the total frequency is 23 if you count them. Now, fortunately, this observations have already been ranked. Because they are 23, the number that will be in the middle will be two. It will have 11 on the left and 11 on the right. So the median now is two. Alternatively, there's an easier way of finding the median. What we will do is that we'll pick the sum of the observations, which is 23, divide by 2. If it is odd, we're going to get a fraction. It means that the figure that comes after the 11th value is the median. So from the spread out, the 11th value is 2. The value after the 2, which is the 11th observation, is still 2. That will be the median. Lastly, we come to the mode, which is the observation with the highest frequency. It is one order. If you look at the table, hours that had one order each were seven. Let's test our understanding again. So GKA has recorded the total sales made by employees for the month of January 2023 in the following table. So for sales below 1,000, it was 30 times. Sales of 1,000 to below 2,000 is 20. Sales of 2,000 to below 3,000 is 10. Sales of 4,000 to below 5,000 is 40. So we have to calculate the arithmetic mean, the median, and the mode. So this is a continuous variable question. So we start with the arithmetic mean. It is still the sum of the observations divided by the sum of the frequency. Now because it is a continuous variable question, we will have to first find the midpoint. Now to get the midpoint, We'll divide the sum of the figures at both extreme ends by 2. So for value 1, we'll add 0 and 1000, giving 1000, divided by 2 will give us 500. Total sales will be the midpoint multiplied by the frequency, giving 15,000. For value 2, the midpoint will be 1005, which is 1000 plus 2000, giving 3000, divided by 2. The frequency was 20. The midpoints multiplied by the frequency will give 30,000. The third value is the sum of 2,000 and 3,000, giving 5,000, divided by 2, will give you 2, 5 as the midpoint. Its frequency was 10. Its total frequency or total sales will give us 25,000. The fourth one is 4,000 plus 5,000, giving 9,000, divided by 2 will provide a midpoint of 4,500. Its frequency was 40. Total frequency 
is $180,000. So the sum of the frequency will now give 100. The sum of the total sales will be 250,000. The arithmetic mean will be 2,500. So 250,000 divided by 100. And we come to the median, which is the central point of the observations. The total frequency is 100, which is an even number. You're going to get two values being in the middle. So the median will be the midpoint of those two values. So now the median is $2,000. That is the midpoint of 1,500. The midpoint of 2,500 divided by 2. Now we found the median by dividing the total frequency of 100 by 2. And because it is an even number, it will provide a whole number, which is 50. This will mean that the 50th and the 51st variables will be the middle numbers. So the 50th will have 49 values preceding it. The 51st will also have 49 values succeeding it. So when you come to the table, we'll start counting the midpoint with the frequencies. The first value, which is 500, had 30 frequency. So it hasn't gotten to the 50 yet. When we move to the 1500 midpoint, it had 20. When you add that 20 to the earlier frequency, it becomes 50. It means that the midpoint of 1005 is the 50th value. That is one. Now, because the sum of the first two values will provide exactly 50, the next session is 2500 midpoint. It had 10, meaning the 51st value will be in the 2500 midpoint. The last one is the mode which is the observation with the highest frequency. That will be the sales of 4,000 to below 5,000 because it had 40 occurrences.